So earlier today, EA did announce that the Team of the Group Stage promo will be beginning on Friday. So in this video today, we're going to predict who could feature in it. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, historically, these Team of the Group Stage slash Team of the Tournament uh, squads have been absolutely stacked. There's normally like two, three, sometimes four very, very big players in it. And since we didn't get KDB in this week's Team of the Week, I feel pretty confident in saying he will feature in Friday's promo. So as you'll see in a moment, KDB is one of the players that will feature in my predictions. So uh, yeah, do look out for that. But before we actually get into my predictions, there's a couple of things to say. Um... They, they've probably picked it already, which is why KDB wasn't in on Wednesday. So with that in mind, tonight's matches um, probably won't count towards selection, which I know sounds a bit weird, but that's probably how it is with you know KDB already being you know lined up for it. Um, also, the stats that I'm going to talk about in this video are correct at the time of recording, but they are not including uh, this Wednesday night's matches. So uh, yeah, if some stats sound incorrect, that's probably why. Anyway, now that's all out of the way, if you could leave a like written on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. In the comments below, let me know which players you think will feature in the team the group stage and also if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe because we upload content like this on a very regular basis so let's just get straight into things shall we let's get straight into the predictions and we're going to begin with you know the obvious one i've just touched on it already uh kdb he's got four assists in the champions league in just a couple of games and um, he's one of the best chance creators in the whole competition that's not just me saying that from like you know an overall view of football but it's just literally a fact and um yeah i, I feel pretty confident in saying he's in as a say i don't think there's any reason he'd have missed out on team of the week unless he was coming on friday so i'm saying with you know a lot of confidence that i think we will see a uh, team the group stage kdb coming on friday how much is that card going to cost and um, my prediction is a lot the next player we're going to discuss is actually one of the top goal scorers in the champions league so far this season and that is alisan player who's got himself five goals and three assists in the group stage which is pretty mad it really really is eight goal involvements in just a few games very very impressive and because of that it's hard to see him missing out i can kind of see him um maybe being like an sbc or objective player but um at the same time i can't it's his pace it's a bit off-putting maybe they'll give him a big pace boost and put him in objectives and um, we'll have to wait and see but um ultimately if he's in packs he's probably going to be one of the cheaper options just because you know i can't see him being too sought after unless as i say he does get a big boost now, Porto have actually had a really good group stage. They've only conceded three times, and that was in one game. So they've kept four clean sheets um, aside from that one match, which is pretty mad. So I definitely feel like they deserve, you know, a player in this team in the group stage. It's just a case of picking which one. And um, the goalkeeper is certainly an option, but um, I'm actually going to go for Chancel and Bembe, who's picked up some good match ratings along the way and obviously helped record those clean sheets. Now, Group B in the Champions League this year has been absolutely mad, and it's very surprising to see Shakhtar Donetsk defy you know a load of odds to uh, currently be in second in that group so i think they deserve um, a player in the team the group stage if i'm being honest it wasn't easy to pick a player but um in the end i've gone with tete who's um had two goal involvements so far they've conceded too many goals in the champions league to um get like a defensive player in in my opinion so i had to go for you know an offensive option and uh, i've gone with this guy I'm not confident in this pick but um, we're going to go for it nonetheless. Next up, we have Liverpool's Diogo Jota. Now, won't lie, I'm a bit hopeful about this one just because, you know, we've all got that one to watch Jota sitting in our club. So hopefully it does happen. He's got four goals in the Champions League and has put in some good performances. So hopefully he can uh, make it in. Obviously, he got that hat trick against Atlanta um, earlier on in the group as well. So hopefully this one happens. And I believe if it does, what will be interesting is he's played striker mostly in the Champions League this year. So the actual team, the group stage card, will be a striker card. But the one to watch will obviously remain on the wing. So uh, yeah, some potentially good options there. Hopefully this one happens and then next up we have Dusan Tadic who I swear regularly picks up Champions League special items and um, he's got himself two goals and three assists so pretty good output from him and uh, he should be featuring as well so uh, yeah this is probably going to be the one that you pack a lot Tadic is one of them players who every single pack opening if you're opening let's say more than 10 packs you're bound to pack Tadic at least once he's just yeah, he's so packable. Alejandro Gomez is the next player we're going to talk about. Um, I needed an Atalanta option and um, 
although Gomez doesn't have like mad numbers, he's got a goal and two assists, which is decent to be fair. It's not terrible, but it's it's not amazing. Um, like his involvement for Atlanta is just so key. He's like the the main man for them, so that's why I've gone for him. Um, a string of good performances despite not being involved in too many goal or assists. Um, I think he could be selected, and it just seems like an EA pick as well. And uh, obviously, it would be a very good card. For ultimate team. Next up we have a goalkeeper. Now I was looking at options from Chelsea because Chelsea have had a pretty strong Champions League campaign and um, defensively they've been solid so I'm thinking defensive options for them. Maybe Timo Werner could get in but um, as I say I think I'm going to go for some defensive options from Chelsea and Mendy's been brilliant. He's averaged three saves a game, he's kept a few clean sheets and um, yeah just been really solid since coming into that back line for Chelsea so he's one of my goalkeeper picks. With all that being said, I also think Reese James has a chance as well. Um, and hopefully, if Reese James does get in, hopefully EA upgrade his card much more than I have on this mock-up. Another side who've had a pretty good group stage campaign is Sevilla, and it's another side that defensively have been very, very solid. So we have Acuna from Sevilla, um, a player who has just been picking up solid match ratings, to be honest, and that's why I have gone for him. Sira Immobile could be in, and uh, if he does get in, in, he could actually have a really good card. Immobile is one of them players who seems to get, you know, really good special items all year long, but he's just still not super effective in game, which is a bit of a shame because he always comes with some absolutely insane stats. Like this card, for example, that looks awesome. If that card was in the Premier League, it would be super expensive, but um, ultimately, it's it's just not going to be, even if this, this card happens, and hopefully it does anyway. Uh, four goal involvements for Immobile, despite limited playing time in the Champions League, is pretty big, so uh, he could certainly get himself a spot. And now we come on to one of the big ones, the very big one. We have a potential team of the group stage, Messi. I actually can't remember a time where Messi wasn't involved in this promo. He's just, um, yeah, regularly effective in the Champions League. Um, three goals and two assists for him thus far. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll add more to that um, stat collection um, throughout the remainder of the group. And also um, in the... Um, I forgot the call. Knockout stages. I don't know why. My mind just went completely blank there. But um, yeah, I, I don't think any of you will be surprised to see this one. I'm not super confident in him getting it this year. I think there are other options from Barcelona. But um, ultimately, like I said at the start, EA love to stack this promo. So I do think there's a good chance of us seeing a blue Messi coming on Friday. Next up, we have Juve's Juan Cuadrado, who has um, got himself four assists from right back, which is... You know, pretty freaking impressive for a defender. So just off the back of that, that's the reason I'm throwing him in, to be honest. Um, also, a good uh, good performance is like defensively too, but um, mainly for his like attacking addition is the reason I'm putting him in. And then following on from him, we have Manchester United's Bruno Fernandes, who's got himself three goals and a assist so far in the Champions League. Now. I've got to be honest. Like I was, it, it was a toss-up between um, Rashford and Fernandez, and ultimately I went with Fernandez because Rashford's already got a couple of special items. So um, I could definitely see Rashford getting into his promo, but um, I think EA will only go for one of these two, and uh, I think they will favour Fernandez just because, as I say, he doesn't have a special card yet. And uh, to be honest, this could be a really, really good special item, and I get the feeling it will cost a lot. And now we come on to a pretty interesting one. And it's interesting because Joe Gomez is obviously, um, well, he's been injured for a bit now and he's out for a long time. So there is no chance of him getting another special item this year for a long, long time unless EA just throw him into a non-performance based promo. But he could get in to the team of the group stage. Now he played uh, three Champions League matches and in each one uh, recorded a clean sheet and got some decent match ratings along the way. So um, yeah, a team of the group stage, Joe Gomez, is possible and it just seems like an EA thing to do to throw him in because obviously they aren't going to have the chance to put him in again for a long time. So uh, yeah, what do you guys make of that? Would you like to see a team of the group stage, Gomez? And how much do you think this card would cost? Howland is up next and you know, this one's pretty obvious at the time of recording. He is the top goal scorer in the Champions League with six goals and to be honest, that's that, that's all that needs to be said because you know the top goal scorer pretty much always gets in in fact not pretty much always always gets in so Haaland I'll, I'll be very shocked if he isn't in on Friday Um, very very shocked but um yeah uh, let's see how this card is I'm just really hoping he gets a good dribbling boost his shooting's already amazing the pace is already good the physicals are already pretty mad just please give him a big boost on the dribbling and make him so much more usable in the game 
Another player who has scored plenty of goals in the Champions League this year is Alvaro Morata, who's got himself five goals for Juve. So he's another one which I think is probably going to happen. Angelino is another player who could have been in this week's team of the week. So I feel like he's got a good chance at appearing on Friday. Also, as we know, EA just seem to love RB Leipzig special items this year. There have been so many already. They're in every promo. So I definitely feel that, like they'll have someone in. And to be fair, Angelino deserves it. He's had like four goal involvements from a defensive position this year. So uh, that's pretty mad. Just in the Champions League alone, like in the Bundesliga as well, he's constantly amongst the goals and assists as well. So uh, he's having a pretty strong season on the offense. So uh, yeah, he could get in. Talking of Bundesliga players, we have Joshua Kimmich, who's had a very, very strong like season in general. He's he's becoming one of the best midfielders. He probably is actually one of the best midfielders in the world right now. A goal and three assists for him so far. Not bad for a defensive mid, eh? And then, of course, we also have Kingsley Kerman, who's got three goals and two assists so far. And as I say... He was one of the favourites to get a team of the week this week and because he didn't get a team of the week I feel really confident in saying he's going to get a team of the group stage card on Friday. And now we've got a bit of time to discuss some Europa League options. Now don't get mad at me, we do not normally get a lot of Europa League cards. There's normally five at max so uh, obviously my picks have been very very limited so we don't have a good variation here. Um, I've just had to go for five who I think have stood out and have a chance of being picked by EA ultimately. Um, Paco Alcacer is one of the top goal scorers, so I feel like he is a shoe in pretty much. Four goals for him so far, so that's why I've gone for him. Um, Lille's Yaziki, um, he is the top goal scorer in the Europa League as things stand with six goals, so it seems a no-brainer for him to get in. Darwin Nunes has had a pretty good campaign as well. The youngster has scored four times and got one assist as well, so uh, very good output from the 21 year old and then we have uh, Livakovic who uh, just hasn't conceded a goal in the Europa League yet and has made many many saves um, and he's like not only has he kept clean sheets he's averaged five saves per game which is you know pretty mad so um that one seems a no-brainer to me and then on the end we have Nico Pepe who um I won't lie I'm a bit biased here I'm a bit hopeful and um, three goals and two assists for him so far is a pretty good output in the Europa League and hopefully that'll be enough to see him pick up a special item on Friday so guys, there you have it. We have just discussed a bunch of players who could feature in the team of the group stage promo on Friday. Um, yeah, some of them could be SBCs, some of them could be objectives. We'll have to wait and see what happens. In the comments below, I do want to hear from you guys. Um, who do you think will feature on Friday? And if you could leave a like rating on this video, that would be very much appreciated. Um, I would get ready because I get the feeling there is going to be a lot to do in Ultimate Team in December. Team of the group stage, icon swaps, and likely footmus are all coming in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy December. There's going to be plenty of content coming on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you have that notification bell turned on as well. And look out for just a ridiculous amount of uploads coming your way over the next month. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.